Hey Pops, it's G Pup here and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the injuries that can occur during human pup play and some of the first aid tips that could be important if you do hurt yourself. In particular today I want to focus in on joints. So we're looking at the wrist joints, the elbows, the knees and the ankles. These are ones that can easily be hurt during the rough and tumble of pup play. So I suppose the main thing is that everybody does talk about the importance of care of our knees and I've, I've talked about this many many times in particular looking after your knees, looking after your wrists by using wrist guards as well as knee pads. These are a fantastic asset and they can certainly help stop bumps, scrapes and other damage like that. Though when you're in a mosh situation or you're pup playing with your mates it can sometimes lead to landing on a joint or twisting of a joint in a way that's not natural for your body. Now, the way that our bodies tend to react if you've had an injury like this is that you can get spasm, you can get swelling, and you can get pain. And a lot of people are a little bit unsure about, oh, should I go and see a doctor or not when it happens in this way? Well, as it so happens, I happen to be a doctor, so I'd like to share some of the tips that I recommend to all of my patients when it comes to what should I do with this particular sore joint. We expect after an injury of a joint that there is going to be a bit of swelling, there is going to be a bit of pain. However, things to note is if the swelling is extreme, if the pain is extreme and not settling, or if you are unable to put weight through the joint, then this is a sign that something could be significantly wrong. And it is worthwhile going to see your doctor to consider should you get an X-ray or should you get an ultrasound in case there could be, say, a broken bone or a torn ligament. If you find that the joint isn't stable, if it feels like it's going to give way or if it's locking in place, these again are signs that you should see a doctor. If you are able to put a little bit of weight through the joint, gingerly of course, and the swelling is not too severe, the main treatment is going to be R-I-C-E, which is rest, ice. Ice is fantastic, it reduces swelling and it also reduces pain. Compression, and that's use of say a bandage or say a neoprene um, support device that can put a little bit of compression on the joint and also help reduce swelling. And the other part of rice is E for elevation. Rise the joint up and help reduce the swelling as gravity will pull the fluid away. However, if you find that the joint isn't settling or the pain is getting worse, the swelling is getting worse and you are then unable to put weight through it without a lot of pain then please I urge you go and see a doctor even if you can put weight through it and you're still concerned please see a doctor if you have medical conditions that could lead to more brittle bones ie you've been taking um, doctor prescribed steroids to for you know chronic disease or you have problems with bones in yourself or in your family please be on the conservative side, go and see a doctor. It never hurts to get the opinion of a medical expert. Um, yeah, so the main tips are that we can get injuries to our joints during pup play, that's quite common, and it's easy to fall on a joint, but if it's extremely painful, if you can't put weight through it, if it's very swollen, or you're finding that you're getting worried or concerned about it, go and seek medical help. I hope this has been useful and if you have any questions I'd be more than happy to answer them below. Have a great day. See you pups!